Is it time to buy or sell CrowdStrike stock? In this video, we will explore CrowdStrike in depth. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, the 12th of August, 2024. And now we are here to provide you with a more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest insights. You don't want to miss any vital updates that could influence your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be regarded as financial advice. Since the 17th of July, 2024, our system has identified CrowdStrike as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 2.51. Now let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. The stock has faced a decline of 32.57%. This equates to an average daily loss of 1.71% since it was designated as a sell candidate. The stock currently resides in the midst of a broad and downward trend in the short term, indicating further declines may occur within this trend. Analyzing the three-month trend reveals a potential decrease of approximately 24.41% over the coming three months, with possible returns ranging from a decline of 34.54% to an increase of 7.61%. Regarding the 12-month trend, it suggests a significant change of 95.91% over the next year, with potential returns spanning from 82.36% to 240.33%. This change translates to a price range of $436.45 to $814.54 after one year. Our latest daily update for CrowdStrike includes the headline, CrowdStrike stock price ended at $239.34 on Monday after losing 0.648%. The CrowdStrike stock price fell by negative 0.648% on the last day, which was Monday, the 12th of August, 2024, from $240.90 to $239.34. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 3.09%, ranging from a day low of $235.60 to a day high of $242.87. The price has decreased in six of the last 10 days and is down by negative 7.52% for this period. Trading volume declined on the last day alongside the stock, which is generally a positive sign as volume should align with stock movement. On the last day, the trading volume decreased by 2 million shares, with a total of 4 million shares bought and sold for approximately $888.58 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest stock price was $398.30, while the lowest price was $140.52. Currently, the price stands at 39.91%, or $158.96, below the 52-week high of $398.30, which also represents the all-time high for the stock. CrowdStrike Holdings, Inc. is currently facing significant legal challenges as multiple class action lawsuits have been filed against the company. These lawsuits stem from allegations of securities law violations during a tumultuous period from late November 2023 to late July 2024, which has left many investors incurring substantial losses. The impact of these lawsuits could be quite severe in both the short and long term. In the immediate term, the announcement of legal actions could lead to increased selling pressure on CrowdStrike stock as investor sentiment tends to decline amid such uncertainties. As shareholders react to the negative news, we may see share price volatility, potentially exacerbating challenges for investors seeking stability. Looking ahead, the long-term implications 
hinge on the outcomes of these lawsuits and the underlying performance of CrowdStrike's business. If the company can navigate these legal hurdles successfully and improve its software reliability, especially after the notable 40% drop in stock value following a critical software update that led to a global IT outage, the stock might recover and regain investor confidence. However, if the legal issues exacerbate or if operational setbacks continue, this could hinder recovery, resulting in sustained pressure on the stock price. Overall, investors should stay alert as developments unfold, with particular attention to legal proceedings and company announcements that may further influence market perception and stock valuation. Analyst Ratings On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Deutsche Bank assigned CRWD an outperform rating with a hold recommendation. On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Piper Sandler assigned CRWD an overweight rating with a hold recommendation. On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that BMO Capital assigned CR to a market perform rating with a hold recommendation. On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Needham assigned CRBD a neutral rating with a hold recommendation. On Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, it was reported that Seaport Global assigned E a buy rating with an upgrade recommendation. Analysts have assigned a general sell rating to CrowdStrike stock. They consider the price to earnings ratio to be a strong sell and the price to book ratio also as strong sell. When it comes to return on investment, the analysts have provided a neutral rating for the stock. The following signals have been identified for CrowdStrike. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, the 2nd of August, 2024, and so far it has risen nearly 10%. Further increases are indicated until a new top pivot is established. Additionally, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. However, some negative signals have also been issued, which may influence short-term developments. The CrowdStrike stock holds a buy signal from the short-term moving average. However, the long-term average presents a general sell signal. Since the long-term average is above the short-term average, this creates a general sell signal for the stock, contributing to a more negative forecast. With further gains, the stock will encounter resistance from the long-term moving average at $313.85. Conversely, if the stock declines, it will find support from the short-term average at $231.87. A breakout above the long-term average will trigger another buy signal, while a dip below the short-term average will reinforce the sell signal and strengthen the overall sentiment. Volume decreased alongside the price during the last trading day, which reduces overall risk as volume typically follows price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, buy signal seven days ago, Bollinger, buy signal 17 days ago, short-term moving average, buy signal six days ago, long-term moving average, sell signal 20 days ago, the relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal 19 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal 25 days ago, long term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages, buy signal 10 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support risk, and stop loss for CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike finds support from accumulated volume at $233.65. This level may present a buying opportunity as an upward reaction is anticipated when the support is tested. The stock can exhibit significant movement throughout the day, indicating high volatility. With a substantial prediction interval from the Bollinger Band, this stock is classified as very high risk. Over the last day, the stock fluctuated by $7.27 between its high and low, representing a movement of 3.09%. For the past week,
the stock has experienced an average daily volatility of 4.69%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for CrowdStrike, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This extremely high P-E ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for technology companies or those with significant market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is expected on the 28th of August 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at 98 cents. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for CrowdStrike. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for CrowdStrike is at $258.14. If you do not own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be an opportunity to consider for swing trading. On the downside, CrowdStrike encounters its first support level at $233.65. If this support level holds, it could serve as a promising entry point anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for CrowdStrike from multiple analyst sources is to sell. Now, let's examine some recent insider trades. On the 15th of July, 2024, Henry Sean conducted an insider sale of 4,000 shares of Class A common stock. On the 12th of July, 2024, Kurtz George conducted an insider sale of 60,000 shares of Class B common stock. On the 12th of July, 2024, Kurtz George also conducted another insider sale of 40,000 shares of Class B common stock. On the same day, Kurtz George executed an insider purchase of 60,000 shares of Class A common stock. Additionally, on the 12th of July, 2024, Kurtz George purchased 40,000 shares of Class A common stock. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find that the insider power is negative, with a ratio of negative 19.78. In total, insiders purchased 382,916 shares and sold 574,529 shares in the last 100 trades. Our assessment of this stock is unfavorable and a stop loss has not been established. Is CrowdStrike stock a good buy? CrowdStrike exhibits several negative indicators, leading us to believe it will continue to perform poorly in the coming days or weeks. Consequently, we maintain a negative assessment of this stock. After reviewing the volatility and movements from the last trading day, our analysis suggests that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, the 13th of August, we anticipate that CrowdStrike will open down by seven cents and begin trading at $239.27. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money. It is important to consult with a financial advisor before making any purchases or sales of securities. You should not base your investment decision solely on stockinvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day with warm regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.